Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode. Today's episode we're playing some more Balloons Tower Defense 6. However, this episode we're going to start off with a Four Circles map. As you like can see down here, we've not gotten our primary only tally just yet on Four Circles. Are you mad? Are you mad we're not going to pop one of these bad boys just about there? You peeping on me? You pee pee boy? Um, Alright, besides the point, I don't even know if you can say pee pee boy. Um, in the first 60 seconds. I mean, there's only really one way to find that out. Hopefully, as soon as we have more tax and even more tax, then we can hopefully keep taxing everyone of their lives. We can keep taxing the balloons for the will to live. Yes. Anyway, besides the point. Um, hopefully, if we can grab ourselves hot shots and bot shots and all the butt shots and stuff like that, and we can grab that, and then we'll probably grab ourselves a boomer monkey because it's my game. I can play it how I want to. Although the truth, truth be told, could you hit a single blue balloon, my boy? Jeez Louise! Oh my goodness, these, 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 these nasty balloons—they're gonna do my head in. Um, yes. Anyway, besides the point. Hopefully, actually, I think we have a much better. Idea. I think we want to slow them down. I think we want to see if we can get all the pops to go to this, to this king, this king of tax shooters. So we'll need to pop you just there, Sam. And then, of course, you probably consume. We're gonna need bigger globs and glue splatter, especially, just because we're gonna need you lot to slow them all down as much as possible. The thing is, you slow down all of them as much as possible, except these lot. If you slow down these lot and they're not dead yet, when they get to about there, we're going to lose, unfortunately, as you can probably assume, yes. Die. There we go. So, hopefully, we're not going to lose so, because that's actually that's going to give us access to corrosive glue as a tier 2 upgrade, and we just do not need that. So, if we can hopefully grab ourselves this one, which is actually kind of a bit unfortunate in the sense of... E oh, slow him down even more. That's actually really good. Perfect. So I guess we can slow him down a bit more, which is fantastic. It means this guy's just absolutely going to maul through them lot, which is even better. So there, hopefully, as soon as we can grab glue spatter, we can grab glue spatter, and then we can go from there. Look how slow this bad boy's moving. For a long, long time. Long, 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 long time. He's dead. Fantastic. Oh, no. Look how slow this bad boy's moving. He's going to be moving for a long, long time. A long, long time. Oh, no. He's dead. <laughs> That's actually really fun. I really enjoy doing that. A long, long time, and he's dead. Perfect. There we go. So hopefully, as soon as these lot get absolutely mauled, there we go. We can go blue splatter. Which is fantastic. In the sense of you should now no longer allow any of them to get through. What are you doing, sir? So what are you doing? What's glue hose? Glue hose shoots up to three times faster. Yeah, we'll probably grab glue hose before we grab mob glue. Oh, that's a good point that we didn't think of. We don't have anything to pop camos. We're gonna need to set up one of these ice monkeys so we can actually pop camos. That's an unfortunate but really good point that we just did not think about until round 16. There we go, so we're actually gonna need to pop you just there, sir. And then, yeah, I believe permafrost is all we're gonna need. Permafrost in the next upgrade, yeah. Cold snap can freeze and pop LEDs and camo balloons, which is fantastic. There we go, so other than the fact of you're doing it a bit early. Oh, you are doing damage though, which is, ah, oh, we didn't want you doing damage though, did we? No, we did not. No, we did not want you doing damage. That's all right. That's all right. All right. All right. So now, hopefully, if we can grab enhanced freeze and deep freeze stuff like that, I think that's actually going to be a better, a better grab there for us today. And then, hopefully, as soon as we grab glue hose, we can grab glue hose there as well. The glue hose should obviously just allow um, these lot to get absolutely mauled. So, in the sense of like, he shoots, he glues them three times faster, which is fantastic. It means all these fast ones who die by this guy will just keep getting frozen or keep keep getting blocked i guess in a sense of sense of matter and then hopefully we can therefore this guy can absolutely maul through the remainder of them all right to be perfectly honest i'm actually wondering now if grabbing ourselves glue hose is the right option or possibly we should just grab ourselves a ring of fire i actually think a ring of fire is actually going to do us a lot better a lot more damage and te technically this guy's absolutely popping all these lot before they even get there which is actually really irritating but i guess that's more or less besides the point um, we have not been playing for 15 minutes, we've been playing for about four. Don't exactly know how this mathematic works, but it's alright, it, it works because it works. And there we go, so hopefully, yeah, this guy, this guy, I don't like this guy. I want this guy to get all the pops, not the ice monkey. Well, that would actually be a pretty good thumbnail. The ice monkey, most pops. I don't know, possibly a good thing. Anyway, so hopefully now if we can go blue hose, we just do not have enough time to afford a furno ring, not at all. Although this thing is insanely strong. Except like against like high level like Moabs. Balloons, it's really strong. Alright, besides the point. Um Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we did not see this happening. We did not see this happening. Um I shards, I shards also not gonna help us. Uh Watch this, watch this, watch this. 
We'll see you this song, my boy. Boop. Boop. Uh, boop. Oh my goodness, you had one fucking job and you messed up. You had one fucking job and you messed up. Pop this shit. There we go. Alright, time for you to go, blood. There we go. Alright. There we go. If we get any more, we're probably going to have to cry just a little bit. These are all also going to all get through. Uh, yeah, they're all going to get through. That's alright. We know we can't lose from here, so that's alright. Bye. Have a good time. Alright, so there's Glue Hose with this uh, Glue Gunner, which is fantastic in terms of he's just actually going to be able to slow them all down completely. Holy, look at this. None of them are getting through here, which is... No, I'm even getting through here, which is even more impressive. The so next of all, as soon as we can hopefully grab like Ice Shards or something like that. Um, Razor Sharp Shard fly out when Frozen Balloon popped. And gains a super cold aura that slows and freezes water nearby. That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, we possibly... Ah, it's not, just not in your range. That actually pretty cool. In Brittlement, um, can hit mo class balloons. All balloons become brittle, take extra damage while frozen, and lose camera properties. Possibly should have grabbed that just a bit ago. All right, so of course we're just gonna let all these get through. We'll probably get like 138. Okay, good. I like the fact that I overshot that just a little bit. <laughs> all right, there we go. All we need is in Brittlement now. So of course this guy can therefore target camos, which is fantastic. We can hopefully have glue strike just before the end. I guess we may just not have enough rounds just left at this stage. I mean, if we can. Wait, you can't target these lot? No, you can't. Okay, that's right. We can hopefully pop one of these just then. We can hopefully grab you like this just for a bit. I think if you can hopefully target all the fuckers. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, we can hopefully sell you now. <laughs> um, we definitely won't make enough money to, to get, get to the end of this stage from here. Um, it's more or less besides the point. But, however... Um, how many did you end up popping? 42. Oh my goodness, you're actually going to pop about half. Alright, there may be a chance. There may be a chance. There's glue strike. Let's grab glue strike. And then, and then, and then, and then we're going to need to... Oh boy. 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 Slow frozen. Freeze him. There we go. Fantastic. We did it. Woo! We did it. Fantastic. 6200 for our favorite. For one of our favorite monkeys in the game. Tower monkeys in the game. Monkey towers in the game. There we go. Hey, victory. All right, and then at this stage, hopefully we can go to end of the road, where hopefully we can go hard. Um, we no, we don't want to do hard. I don't think we want to do hard. We may as well. Let's go magic monkeys only. There we go. Unfortunately, I was actually planning on building a massive, a massive buccaneer here, but you know, besides the point. Hopefully, we can start off with grabbing ourselves a little Quincy boy. We can put a little Quincy boy just about there, considering we're already starting round three. But I mean, hopefully by the by the time they come right back around, hopefully Quincy can do Quincy things, which is also fantastic. All right, next of all, oh boy. Quincy, please don't lose us too many damn hit points on the first round. Quincy, there we go. Good work, Quincy. All right. <laughs> um, next of all, as soon as we can probably grab ourselves. I want to see if we can do this round without the help of the super monkeys. So perfect. if we can hopefully, actually, if we can grab one of these lots there. Perfect. We can probably just say we can actually just shoot the cameras and then get any distraction and the other upgrade. I forgot the other upgrade would be called. Some of these will become distracted and move backwards. That sounds good. That sounds good. It's just gonna allow Quincy to go downtown on their asses, which is even better. And then hopefully distraction and counter espionage. There we go. Ninja attacks and strip camo from balloons that they damage. Fantastic. If you're just primarily targeting camos, that sounds really good. All right, so we are fully prepared for round 24 with the sense of this guy can target camos, this guy can target camos by round 11, which is fantastic. So other than the fact, that's more or less besides the point. And uh, we didn't care too much about that one. I'm going to probably grab Ninja Discipline and Sharp Shuriken just because you can, of course, target more balloons, more camo balloons at once, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, I just don't know what your ability to target um, LED balloons will be. So in that sense, we'll definitely grab one of these bad boys just so hopefully you can target LEDs. I think we'll also wait for Double Shot to be perfectly honest. I don't really know which one's probably going to be more effective, like in terms of like grabbing a double shot or a wizard monkey or something like that. So I guess other than the fact that's more or less besides the point at this stage, uh, or we can just grab one of these top LEDs. We'll probably just grab the druid top LEDs. We'll see it is strong. We'll probably just up here around with one of these alchemists. Oh boy, perfect. Quincy double time, um, which is fantastic. Um, so as soon as we grab double shot, we'll grab double shot. And then we can go from there. All right, so there's double shot, which is fantastic. I was going to say, I bet, I bet they're not going to get too much further with this double shot. I think you'll even overtake Quincy in terms of pops, which is, that's all right, fantastic. And then hopefully we can grab ourselves a little Druid Boy. We'll pop the little Druid Boy just about there. Perfect. And then with the little Druid Boy, I think we'll start by grabbing Hard Thorns and Thorn Swarm. No, I thought Hard Thorns and Heart of Thunder. Yeah, Heart of Thunder. So we grab Heart of Thunder. Unleashes regular blasts of fork lightning that arc from balloon to balloon. That is such a fantastic upgrade. It should not even be in the game. 
This upgrade is so tremendously good. It definitely should not even be in the game. All right, so by grabbing Heart of Oak, um, we're going to be able to cancel out all the regrow balloons. When we're grabbing Jewel of the Jungle, we can therefore grab ourselves all the balloons, which is fantastic, as you can probably assume. So there we go. So at this stage, we can therefore hopefully grab ourselves a, a Moab Mauler. A Moab Mauler, of course, we are talking about one of these lot. Uh, if we'll probably pop you in the middle just about there, so... Yeah, just about there. That sounds good. I think we can grab stronger acid perishing potions just for that. And then hopefully larger potions, um, acidic mixture dip and all that jazz as well. All right, so there's Berserker Brew as well, which is really handy. I just want to see um, brew more powerful effect on the target. Mm, okay, that's not too bad, I guess. I think if we can hopefully set you to stronger as well, that's sir. And then at this stage, if we can hopefully get a Bloon Jitsu before that round 40, I think that's also going to help us just absolutely or attempt to maul through the Moab. Because at this stage, we don't have a lot of other Moab popping powers. Although, talking about Moab popping powers, we also got one of these. The Sticky Bomb, unfortunately, it's just going to be very expensive for us to... Well, we also got Grand Saboteur, um, but that's also going to... That's 23,000. That's a that's a bit out of reach at this stage. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So hopefully we can get Bloon Jitsu just through there. Fantastic. And then hopefully if we can... I mean, probably we should probably got one of these lodges here, so... Uh, we probably just say so you're actually in range of this guy as well which is fantastic that's kind of cute and then hopefully we can grab is it the middle path or the top path it's the middle path yeah so we'll we'll grab these two with you sir so we'll grab faster throwing we've got our fingers ready on quincy's double time which is fantastic as well there's an acidic pool perfect uh, there's a mob quincy double time there we go and then the the druid of the jungle should pop the rest he did do a really good job at that Again, then hopefully as soon we can grab not lead to gold, but on stable concoction we can grab this one. Cut some mo class balloon in a explosive substance that causes a large explosion when they are popped, which sounds fantastic. That sounds like more or less exactly what we needed to do. There we go. And then hopefully from there, as soon as we can grab ourselves a jungle's bounty. So just for that extra popping ability on the map, on the road of the map, as you guys can see, it looks like a little road. And um, well, they come on the left side, so that means these lot are all. To be fair, reverse on this map would be so boring. It's exactly the same. Um, yeah. <laughs> so other than the fact that... Um, what, what is that? I don't exactly remember what I was just talking about. I genuinely have no idea what we were just talking about. That's alright. There's Jungle's Bounty, which is fantastic in terms of just making us a bit more money, all that jazz as well. So hopefully every now and then we can press this little button where we can hopefully grab a little bit more money. A little bit more money. And then hopefully from there we can grab ourselves Transforming Tonic before actually after we can grab that so hopefully before we grab that we can grab ourselves strongest stimulant there we go fantastic we can also grab a bit more money great work great work jungle bounty spirit of the jungle bounty spirit of the cloud forest that's actually a really good movie no it was a movie or is it a book i think it was just a book it's probably a movie all right there we go so hopefully as soon as you grab transforming tonic there we go fantastic and um, i don't think there's going to be too much else we're going to want to grab out of these lot we may as well grab that just there. Fantastic. We may as well grab ourselves a little one of these bad boys. Probably, probably just about there, sir. With you, sir, we'll grab just these upgrades just like this. Arcane Mastery. So one of my mates told me the other day that Arcane Spike is a really good upgrade. These lot are all very expensive. Yes. All right. We don't care too much about that one at this stage. And let's grab Arcane Mastery, and then we can hopefully grab Arcane Spike there as well at some stage there today. All right, so there is Arcane Spike. There we go, fantastic. So Archimedes obviously is fifth class upgrade, but that's all right. We don't have to worry about that one too much at this stage. And then hopefully from there, I mean, we should probably grab one of, that was one of these bad boys in terms of just the ability to, could we hopefully just pop you on the outskirts just there? Fantastic, we can, there we go. And then hopefully from there, we can grab ourselves one of these lot, Druid of the Storm, there we go, fantastic. And then of course, of course, we're going to grab Druid Reach and Heart Avengers. I don't really know. Is there anything else we could have grabbed there? I don't really know. I don't normally like going the bottom path, but the mate that told me about this guy said it was good. And yeah, I mean, technically it's not too bad. I don't think any of us saw this happening. I don't think there's anything else we could have done there. Was there something else we could have done there? Oh, there is something else we could have done there. I think we'll have to do that anyway. Alright, let's pull lightning. I think if we could hopefully grab ourselves one of these lot again. I think we'll have to pop you. I'll just have to pop you just about there, so alright. No, we'll pop you, we'll pop you just there. That's better. Intense magic, monkey sense, shimmer effect. Um, fireball, wall of fire as soon as we can. There we go. And then as soon as we grab Necromancer's unpopped army, we can grab that one. And then I'm going to hope that we don't need to grab any more of you shimmering effect or anything like that. 
All right, so there's Necromancer's on popped army, and the, every balloon you pop from there should be good in terms of just the ability to run, run rampant, which should be fantastic. All right, so this stage, I'm actually really happy to say we are popping majority of the balloons that we'll have to deal with at this stage, which is even better to say that out loud. All right, next of all, as soon as we can hope, I mean, I, I said none of these, but I think we can pop one just over here, and then we can hopefully spend a bit of money building this guy up, although on a technicality we'll build it using ultra vision and not super epic range just because we don't want, we don't want, we want the, we want this guy to do majority of the popping, right? So if you can probably assume this guy will do majority of the popping, so therefore hopefully we can grab ourselves um, this one, ultra vision, and then laser blast, plasma blast, and therefore we can hopefully go from there in terms of just popping the last little bit of the, the BFBs, the moabs, and hopefully a zoom towards the end. Alright, so there's plasma blast of this guy as well. Technically, next of all, we'll wait for the Dark Knight, just because it does a bit more extra damage to the mobile class balloons. So, other than the fact that that's not important, it may become important. But look at these lot. These lot are just mauling through these mobile class balloons anyway, so... Other than fact, I don't think that's going to be massively besides the point. I think it's just going to be really handy there for us today. Alright, so there's the Dark Knight upgrade, which is actually really cool, because with this guy, we can, we can, of course, just keep moving this guy about. Which is actually really cool. So, we're I think we're just going to move this guy to the front of the line. So I guess we can just time lapse me moving this guy real quick. All right. Other than the fact that I was, other than the fact that this guy is also now just standing right there, which is fantastic. So he's obviously still on the range with this guy. Although I'm pretty sure majority of these guys aren't even getting this guy's effects anymore. So we may as well build one more real quick. That's not going to be too bad of an idea. We may as well build one more. We may as well probably just like that. Fantastic. Set you strong as well. There we go. So that's our first double up with the exact same build. Hell no. This Archmage has done well. Has he done well? I mean, he hasn't done bad, I'm not gonna lie. He's actually done, actually done decent. I mean, this Druid, of course the Druid's gonna get the most pops. Ah, you know, it's, 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 it's not too bad, it's not too bad. We've definitely had worse. But there we go, as the Zom comes through in round 80, in about four, three, eight, two, four, three, two, one. Farah, how many of these BFBs do you not want to hit me with? There we go, this comes the Zom. Perfect, so we go double time, go tonic, we go like that. We murder it. We take more money from Jungle's Bounty. We say, hell yeah. We say, down, down to those balloons. And there we go. We popped 188,000 balloons with this, with the single druid. That's actually really well done. All right, perfect. All right, um, technically, just want to, not technically, want to keep saying that. I just want to add, um, if there's anything else you guys want me to attempt in the comments, kind of like these little magic monkey rounds, but just like with a single monkey, or just with a single something like that, I'm definitely going to give that a shot. Just let me down now. Let me know down in the comments. All right, beautiful. Just like to thank everyone so much else. Everyone, oh my goodness, you can do this, mate. Don't give up now. Just like to thank everyone else so much for tuning in to today's episode. Beautiful. Cheers and bye-bye.